okay so we have our eagle torch with safe stop here and basically this is what I've been wanting to do a video on for a while so there's a bunch of screws in here so let's get a little bit closer into what's going on so what ends up happening is this thing here this this part right here kind of slips and along the spline that I'm going to show you once I open this thing up and it makes it to where your lighter doesn't torch so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you how to adjust it and do all that kind of stuff on here and this basically applies with uh, some various other lighters if you have something that's on a spline or whatever it is on there you can do that but okay so here we have right here and we're gonna grab our little tiny screwdriver and we're gonna open this up here whoops there's five I think five screws five or six screws so we get that one out and over here there yeah there's four more so we have one here and you're gonna need a whoops you're gonna need a a screwdriver like this one because of the fact that these are deep in here and these two are okay you can do with kind of a normal-ish screwdriver here this one here and this one here but this one here you're gonna need something like this because it's deep down in there so just to let you know you're going to need a kind of a screwdriver like this and then this last one here all right let's pull these screws out and you don't want this side to come undone on this thing here you want this side to come undone let's take these screws out of here All right, so we have all the screws out, and what we're going to do is this part over here, we're going to flip it up like so. And as you can see in the guts there, you have this spline right here. The, okay, what's going on with this? Let's see if I can focus in a little bit better. So that spline right there is what this is resting on. So what you have to do is you have to basically kind of push this up along that spline. There you go. So once it's up along that spline, Okay, first of all, what you want to do is you want this all the way this way, put it up against the spline, and then turn this thing this way, and then put it back down on the spline, like so, like that, is what you want to do, okay? And then you're going to put this all back together again, like that, with all the screws in there. What that's going to do is basically, right, because you can see negative to positive, right? So this is going to decrease the flame going this way over here. And this is going to increase the flame over here, right? So you want to move the spline. I mean, you want to move that, this piece here, right there, this way. You want to take it, you want to bring everything over here as far as it'll go, take it up, bring it down this way, and then put it back on the spline so that you can, um, you'll get more flame in there, more, more uh, propane, more, well, whatever it is. You're going to get more of the fluid that's going to come out of the lighter that way. And then you just pop these screws back in here. I mean, the biggest sticking point to this whole thing is the fact that you need 
a screwdriver that is going to go deep inside there because this, you know, the ones, this one, this one, and this one, okay, are okay. But this one here that's so deep down in there, I've tried doing it with a regular kind of a screwdriver where, you know, you do the tool kit where you can put, you know, attach various bits into the the tool, you know, the, 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 the and the, where the tool is, kind of like this, right? You put a bit inside there, inside this part right here. But like I said, that it just doesn't work. So, and now what do we got? We got tons of flame now, right? Tons of flame. Right there. And we're good to go on this thing. So I figured, like I said, I would uh, put the uh, I would put this in here just because I don't know, whatever.